Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. So let's talk about pre and post on the Behringer Wing. So the Behringer Wing has uh, 16 buses that you have available and you can set each one to be pre or post. In addition to those buses being set that way, you can also set each individual channel with their own setting to that bus. So let me show you how this works. So if you go to your bus masters, I have bus one set up as a wireless in-ear monitor. So if you go to the second tab here on your screen, here is your settings for bus one uh, as far as pre or post. So you have your tap point, which is essentially pre, that corresponds to your red dot. So it's pre everything uh, where that red dot is. And you can move that around. Then you have post uh, settings and you have subgroup settings. So if I wanted that bus to be post fader, I would just click post and that would put everything in that bus post fader. So if you see, I jump over to bus eight and I already have that one set as post. So that's pretty simple how you set that pre or post fader for your buses. Now, if we jump over to the channel, I'll show you the channel settings. So if you go to uh, channel one here is my vocalists, and I go to the last uh, setting here, which is my setting for all my bus ends, you can see on the screen here, each bus for this channel has a setting for tap or post. So you can go into, again, this is channel one. Now I'm going to the settings for bus one, and you see all these settings here. You can just, the default is linked to bus. So whatever you set the bus to, pre or post, the channel will follow. Or you can change that to individual, and then it lets you change tap point, post, or subgroup. So again, some very similar settings. That channel can be pre, wherever that tap point is, or that channel can be post in that bus. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.